I have the arm here in the supine position. I want to show you muscles of the antebrachium or the forearm. Um, but again, I want you to kind of keep in mind where we are here. So the palm is up. Again, we call this supine. So one thing I want to point out is that your flexors are on the anterior side. And you can remember that your extensors are here on the posterior side of your forearm. What do I mean by that? Okay. When I say flexors, okay, if I ask you to flex your muscles, right, you're going to roll up your sleeves and you're going to show me your biceps. That's not actually flexing. That's contracting your biceps brachii. But when you do that and you bend your arm up in that way, okay, what you're, what you're doing basically is you're bringing your forearm up to your arm. That's flexion. You're decreasing the angle between these two elements right here, okay? Same thing if you took your hand here and you flexed it up like this. When you flex it up like this, okay, it's these muscles here that are activating. Just the opposite. When you extend, and when I say extension, I'm talking like extending your hand this way. You're activating these muscles here. So extensors are posterior, flexors are anterior. Kind of an easy way to remember it. Okay, let's start right here. So right here, the first muscle I want to go over, this is pronator teres, pronator teres. Here we have flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi radialis. Flexor, because it's on the anterior side, carpi, you've heard of carpal tunnel syndrome before, carpi means wrist. Radialis, if you'll remember your bone anatomy, what side of the hand does your radius go to? Your thumb, just like your ulna goes to the pinky side. So flexor carpi radialis is this one here. The next one, you'll see a long tendon going to the palm. We call this palmaris longus. The next one over here, flexor to the wrist, carpi, pinky side, ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris. One other muscle I want to point out, and you'll actually see it between the tendons right here. This is flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor digitorum. What are our digits? Our digits are our fingers, okay? So when you see flexor digitorum superficialis, right? When you make this movement, you can actually see my palmaris longus right there, the tendon of it. But when you make this movement here with your fingers, flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay, we roll over to the posterior side now, and we're gonna start with the extensors. So this one right here is going to be extensor carpi ulnaris. Extensor carpi ulnaris, because remember, we're on the pinky side here. Extensor carpi ulnaris. The next one is going to be extensor digiti minimi. Extensor digiti minimi. Next we have extensor digitorum. Extensor digitorum. You can see that this one also goes to the digits when you make a movement like that, okay? Extensor digitorum. We come around here these two muscles right here, these ones, I'd like you to think I'd like you to think of them as being part of a pair. Okay? What do I mean by that? Well listen to the name. Okay? If you'll notice these two right here, they come together. We call this one extensor carpi radialis brevis and extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor because we're on the posterior side here. Carpi to the wrist, radialis, we're on the thumb side. This one has a short tendon, so we say brevis. It's brief or it's short. This one has a long tendon, so we call it longus. Again, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi radialis longus. This large one right here, this is called brachioradialis. Brachioradialis goes from your brachium all the way to your radius. Brachioradialis. 
We've got another back here that I don't want to forget about. This is Anconius back here. Anconius is pertaining to the elbow, and in fact, that is your elbow right there. That's your olecranon. So this is Anconius. And then the last couple we have up here, I mentioned that these two come as a pair. Extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi radialis longus. I want you to think of these two as coming as a pair as well. We have abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. Abductor pollicis longus. Pollux means thumb. So pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. You can think of this one as being a longer tendon, abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. You can kind of think of this one as having a shorter tendon there. And then you can also see the extensor reticulum wrapped around here that kind of holds these tendons in place. If we look at the anterior side of the hand here, you can see some of these tendons coming up from the muscles of the forearm. This is the tendon of flexor carpi radialis. This is the tendon of palmaris longus. Okay, you can see those like here. When we look at the hand itself, right, we look at a few that I want to point out. This one right here, we call this abductor pollicis brevis. Remember, pollux means thumb. Abductor pollicis brevis. This one right here is flexor pollicis brevis. On this model, pretty easily, you can see right there and sort of the webbing of the thumb there, we call this adductor pollicis. So abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, adductor pollicis. If we come on this side, these are also relatively easy to see. Flexor digiti minimi and abductor digiti minimi. Flexor digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi. These are some of the muscles, and there are many more, but some of the muscles of the hand.